Uh, all right, time to see if he's actually that bad. If you've seen my tier list, then you know that I rank Chopper pretty much at the bottom along with Bej. Now, I did give my own props that Chopper is pretty good in terms of actually like some special damage and stuff. And he does have some pretty okay combos. But I just felt like his range and being so small was such a big detriment to his character. And also not having any air combos. But... I'm wanting to give him another shot and maybe showcase and be a little bit more fair and objective. So yeah, we're taking him against the true Pyro Warrior stage at level 24. So these specials we're rocking just in case we need to really heal in a bad situation. Even though our skill set is going to be basically heat up, shatter, rage alliance, cheat death, special move, and battle instinct. Obviously, you can probably switch this around, probably get other stuff like you know square attack enhancement. Now that it's at level five, you can add concentration. Uh, you, I don't know other stuff like undying and all that stuff, but. Um, yeah, this is the loadout we have, and let's get into seeing how Chopper does. So again, I think he'll do good, but let's see. Okay, he's doing some good armor break damage. Okay, Kung Fu, okay, well. Kung Fu Chopper not doing too bad. If there's another character you want me to give like another look at, like if you saw my tier list video, let me know. By the way, what I'm doing is when I see a Logia, I try to like hop in the sky and avoid combat. Okay, not too bad. We got rid of Crocodile, who's the more annoying one of this beginning duo. Lock on. Okay, not too bad. I think the big thing that you also got to think about when you're talking about the way the game is in its current state. First of all, we need harder content, right? I think that's like a big thing we should all say because the biggest thing is that Chopper and really anyone can basically like beat anything in this game, right? You can look really strong because now everyone's at level 24. We have these very powerful skills and stuff. But, you know, not too bad so far. Obviously, we have our skills on, but... Oh, God. When you don't kill Law right away, it is kind of annoying because he doesn't... Okay. Oh, my God. I, that looks so cursed. He, like, had... What's it called? Uh, his whole body turned into the, the cannonball. But you see what I'm kind of saying with, with Chopper, like, I have to get really close for him to do anything. He's good, good special damage and all that, but, like, I feel like it's very annoying how close you have to get to characters. Right, let's just kill all. Law, I feel like people don't talk about how annoying he could be NPC-wise, but let me see, I just slapped the hell out of him, which I did. But the one annoying thing about Law is that when he goes in his full force burst, he gets like an invincibility frames or something. It just look, it's pretty annoying. But yeah, again, I don't completely hate Chopper. I just think he's at the bottom. If you want any other, like I mentioned, I think, I think I mentioned that anyway. If you want me to check out any other character that I ranked pretty low and that you disagreed with, and you want me to give them like a second chance, let me know. I know characters that people were famously like discussing where uh, Carrot was maybe a bit too low, maybe a little bit too harsh on, on Sabo as well. Okay, Chopper actually did a lot of damage to Mihawk because Chopper, or Mihawk rather, has a lot of health. So he's like the main, like, you know, baddie that you fight here. The real, the real test is going to really be uh, when we go up against, like, the three admirals in a second here. So yeah, the scope does do a lot of damage, so I'll give credit where credit's due.
Again, I'm trying to get like a, a new perspective on Chopper with all these like new skills and and stuff. Now let's see if Chopper can uh, absolutely annihilate. Okay. Again, I, I think we can all agree that that's probably more the skill. I think my, my main thing is like the issue that I still have are the same. Like, even though I'm having like a decent time and I'm not really like, and I'm doing a lot of damage. I think the main thing with Chopper is still, is still the same issue. Like, it is, it's actually incredibly annoying trying to get Kizaru. This can... Okay, wow, well, you're interrupted. Kizaru was a bitch of a character to defeat, though. Let's get rid of Fujitora here. Oh, come on, really? Ah. <sighs> I thought he spawned it after. Oh, he okay. He got defeated. We're good. Never mind. We're good. Crisis averted. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. I don't think this will kill either of them, but it should be a good amount. I have about half health on Sengoku, not bad. No, oh my god, he just... Oh my god, he just grabbed me like a like the plushie I am. Garb just manhandled me, okay. Okay, I can move on. Fight the emperors now. Right, let's see, can Chopper uh, low diff these characters? Kind of. He almost killed both of them with one, with one special, actually. Okay, so so far, Chopper's doing good with all these skills and obviously the new level because. We gotta also keep in mind, even though this game is this level is still the hardest stage in this game, it's still you know, it's still a stage that does a lot of damage, as you can see. But credible credits are doing okay. The thing is, like, if you like, you can argue every character in the game is good in some way, right? Like, I feel like this is a game. Where because it's a Musou game or a, a Pirate Warriors or a Warriors game in general, it's a game that doesn't like you can have tiers of characters, but you know, every every character can beat everything, right? But then you get into a situation here where other characters have like range attacks or like an air combo or something. I'm just suffering in eternal hell getting juggled 
because I can't do anything. Let me see. This is the mo like like I I'm just I'm just I'm just stuck. I'm just stuck here. And then Sabo activated his full force burst now. So now I'm just like I slapped Ivanko's big fat head, and now we're here, and I got another. Kaido, just please get out. Get out, get out, get out. It, it is frustrating. It is frustrating. I can't believe a ranger is doing all this on me either, Luchi. But yeah, I, I think I think the fact that that Cho even no matter how good Chopper might kind of look here. I think that the biggest issue is still the same, like, stuff. I feel like all his range, lack of air combos, all of that stuff is very much very annoying. Okay. Again, I think his his actual damage with scope now is actually really good. I, I'll give him that because I, I mean, to be fair, Teach and Birdis aren't the most like insanely annoying enemies to fight. Teach could be annoying because of the black hole stuff, but I don't know. I feel like that was a pretty good showing right there. He pretty much knocked them out in a couple hits. Again, I think my main issue is dealing with characters like Ace, any, any Logia character. Because they could just zone you out and keep you super far away. I'm doing this here to- oh, well, Ace move, but I think, yeah, okay, we have enough to do damage. Just get rid of Ace as soon as possible. Okay, well, that didn't work out, but close enough, I guess. At least right now, we seem to have gotten an uh, ace that's not as ignorant. Okay, maybe maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too... Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh my god, he... he, he. Okay, please stop. E enough. Okay, Ace out of the way, finally. With this, Wiper should be out of here. Or not, because he backed up. Because I forget, I guess he activated his full force burst, but we should be able to get him here. Easy, light work, light work, light work. I think it, it if any of the characters, it is incredibly frustrating to get juggled like that, like the way we do. Uh, I, mean, I could just be a very, you know, who knows? Maybe I'm just very bad at the game. But let me know in the comment section down below if my comments or like criticism of Chopper are valid. Uh, I feel like there weren't that many people complaining about Chopper's placement, but you know, I just wanted to see what the lowest ranked character for me will look like in, uh, you know, in this setting where it's like the strongest in the game, very right? Like the strongest event. Can Chopper measure up to the Conqueror's Hockey Champions? I should, this should get all three of them, maybe even break Sabo's guard. Mihawk should be dead. Nice. Okay, Sabo got half his guard broken. Okay, I got hit by his special attack. Gotta be careful because Shanks could, and even Sengoku could just one-shot me. The reason I'm not healing is because I want to keep the cheat death buffs activated. It makes me way stronger. But I might have to. I'm... Wow, they were just barely out of frame. All right, maybe Sengoku. I think Sengoku will probably get tagged by this. Yep. 
I might have to heal here though, because Sabo's being ignorant. Please, please. Nice, okay. Alright, we got this. Again, I will, like, in terms of, like, positives that I can give Chopper right now, uh, the fact that he has pretty good specials, I think the scope effect or move does actually a lot more damage now with all the stuff, and could get stronger with, um, you know, more skills that come out. Um, I do think the fact that he ha has a healing special, it does, the thing is he has a healing special, but I think that healing special takes way too long. But my main criticism of a chopper is definitely just the fact that I have to get so close and he's so much on my stamina to get any anything done. Because he's a technique type, so even if I go full force burst, his like his stamina isn't infinite. So like if someone just keeps running away from Chopper, you're just playing catch up. And look. Okay. Well he didn't even die. Well I was gonna say Diamante pretty much knocked Shanks out of a frame. So that's it, we beat it. I mean, obviously we were gonna beat it, you know. If you're decent at any level of good at the game, any character should be good, no matter how gimmicky or whatever they are. But overall, Chopper, I gotta say he's, if I were to think, like, would I change his spot after this? Probably not. Maybe up to E tier, but I think for me, the biggest, I like to have fun. And not only do I like to destroy a bunch of stuff, with ease in this game, with whether it's Wakata Kuri and stuff. And trust me, I like my technique type characters. I, lo I love using Kinemon. Um, Kinemon style and technique with the fire and like it actually makes you like think about like, oh, how many fire things do I have enabled for me to use this? Um, Aokiji is a really good technique type too. Um, so there are some really good technique types. Chopper, I feel like the scope does decent damage. It did really good damage against Burgess and Teach. Um, and there was some good damage here and there to other bosses. It looked like even Sengoku may have got tagged by one thing because his health bar was really low by the time I didn't even notice it. But I think Chopper has probably some decent damage. Um, my main issues with him just come from, one, the heal takes way too long. Um, even though most people, if you're running a build like I did, would probably avoid healing because obviously you want to have that cheat death. And maybe if you want to take out, you know, Battle Instinct, you could put Undying and, you know, increase your defense and all that stuff. But overall, I think Chopper is still ranked where he does because specifically his range and lack of air combos. Chopper, and also the fact that characters could just run away from him. His range is so bad that you could have characters that are in Logia form like Ace or something. Where we got kind of lucky where Ace actually stayed relatively close. But the problem was every time, like in other runs or stuff, Ace is a very mobile character. He's a Logia too, so I'm not doing any damage. Ace or Sabo can just run away from you. Or they can knock you back, right? Because you're not a giant character. So even if you're trying to break guard, they're just moving and zipping around so fast that you could get knocked back, you get hurt, and then you could just take forever to break guard. And it feels like, obviously, Chopper doesn't have the massive or greatest AoE when it comes to killing enemies. Like, as you see here, even though I probably prioritize going a little bit more based on how fast can we beat this with chopper which we probably could go faster if we got a little bit luckier or maybe if i, I maybe i just have to play better and maybe i'm just bad at the game but personally i just think chopper's biggest issue which why he ranks so low at the bottom is definitely why i have him down in f tier because every character in the game is strong but i think i get more annoyed playing with chopper as you probably noticed here and there than I do if I play another another technique character like Aokiji or Kinemon or stuff like that, right? So, overall, those are my thoughts on Chopper. Uh, I think he's kind of, yeah, just bad. Um, again, bad in the sense that compared to everyone else, if you were, were to have a tier list. But if you were to be, I guess, maybe, like, consider everything in the game with all the new skills and all that, every character would be, at least be, like, B or C tier. You won't have to go down to F. But if you were to actually like rank and think about Chopper, I think he just stays at the bottom with Bej. Well, I, maybe I'll give Bej another shot. We'll see. If you guys like this type of video, if you want me to revisit Bej or other characters, comment down below if you want me to give another character another chance. Let me know in the comment section. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.